quite honestly, the amount of drugs being used, mm -hmm. it's unacceptable. I think people, uh, quite honestly, Simon, I have, I coach quite a few people. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. the thing is, I'm not going into the hard, hardcore unless they would listen. Mm -hmm. And quite honestly, the amount of drugs being used, mm -hmm. it's unacceptable and it's not necessary as far as i'm concerned as far as my highest intelligent people in this field from their own perspective they think this is a no-no and i know it's a no-no uh you know i am i'm a hunter who uses a shotgun or a bullet and these guys want to shoot a cannon they want mm. to use a cannon to drop a deer why do you do to do that so although, that's why I don't really like to coach some of the hardcore at least unless they listen. Mm. You know, I'm not in, I'm not the guy who's going to tell you it's fine take 5000 milligram or 3000. So you know like with these say. these competitors they come to you now with all these big list of drugs that's available now. Mm. Obviously back in your day there wasn't half of what's available now. And no. do you know what what, what the compounds now I even... listen the compound I use was inherited. I was among the very first to use certain compounds was actually Mike Mentzer was the we one talking, we talking for your we talking for your Mr. Olympia preps or before uh yeah I have used very modest amount and let me just start by saying I've always done things under a doctor's supervision I made yeah. sure my blood test has been is done and everything is fine mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm within the ratio of health. So yeah. I don't, you know, you're not going to see my SGPT or SGOT going way above the, no, I won't let that. I won't allow that cholesterol, but everything is within the scale yeah. and thank yeah. God. So I was rational and this is what we want. I'm not saying, Hey, you guys, the alcohol is available for everyone. I, I'm the one who tell you, go ahead, have a glass of wine or have two, have a beer. But I'm I'm the one who tell you don't drink a whole bottle of vodka and go and drive on the road. That's <laughs> that's me. So and that's why I don't really coach some of the pro because of that, and I run away from them. Yeah, also experience. I mean, it's like when I coach people, I can only coach on things I've used myself and I've got having experiences with. But nowadays, when people like talk to me about compounds and stuff like that half the time i don't even know what they're talking about especially like peptides and so much stuff out there which and it doesn't make your physique look any better look you look at the physics now are they any better than they were 20 years ago and they're taking more and more drugs as you know they're not they're no 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 better are they you know yesterday i had a podcast and we were talking simon you're a smart man i've been around you and i know you you're rational the thing is look we, we say this, if it's not broken, why fix it? Mm -hmm. But from my perspective, what I'm seeing today, some of the stuff aren't necessary to use. Some of the stuff isn't necessary, you know. I mean, uh, how can I say? I was saying Sergio Oliva back in the days, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Come on, don't tell me they weren't big. They were massive. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now they are bigger, and I know why they are a little bit bigger in some area. But had Arnold and Sergio used what these guys use, and I mean, they would, <laughs> probably they won't be living today. I'm pretty sure they would have been gone already. But the, just to make it a, a fair statement here, that using a little bit, it doesn't mean you're not gonna become you get better. It's just the same thing. Look, you, you're in a car. You are driving with your Porsche on uh, in on the autobahn in in Germany. You you have the freedom of driving two hundred and fifty, whatever kilometer or three hundred kilometer per hour per hour, which is makes it about two hundred miles per hour approximately, and then you can drive eighty. The thing is, from my perspective, if I'm why rushing, you know, and endanger yourself by going the short route? Because what happened when you're rushing to become so freaky big, the consequences are also huge. As you and I know, some of our mm. friends are not healthy today. Mm. 
That's what I'm not around today. I blame it on that. I mean, Simon, come on. Let's be somewhat rational. Let's drink but not get drunk. Let's mm-hmm. drive 75 miles an hour. Why drive 150 miles an hour to lose your driver license or crash and die? This is this is the idea. More from my perspective, more is less. Or more gonna get you there faster and it's gonna ruin your career faster too. Mm. So well, I remember- nowadays nowadays obviously social media everything but everything needs to be instant they want results fast straight away and i get people coming to my gym guys who've never lifted a weight before coming to me they said look they want to become an ipb pro within six months they don't want to put six <laughs> six to ten years of hard work in the gym i saw some of your guys who were in great shape you know uh I was in your gym and I saw that, you know, I love, like I said, I love the atmosphere and the, uh, this is the atmosphere I'm, I love to be around. Uh, the thing is, uh, you're right. I think the social media is really hurting a lot of people mm-hmm. out there because some kids, when you and I say something, they think we're lying yeah. and they should be taken much more, et cetera, et cetera. But God is my witness. I won't lie about anything. I admit that I've used certain things, and yes, I have used things under doctor supervision, mm. and I never really abused, and I didn't stay on them. And let me just tell you, even the great of the greatest, I know, I live in Southern California. I know everyone from Steve Reeves to Jean Grimmick to Arnold Schwarzenegger to Dave Draper, Bill Poe, and the whole nine yards. I know all these people, and I know the majority in 99.9 have used anabolic. But what, what's the difference, Simon? These guys were rational. They were rational. Look, if they tell me, oh, but these guys weren't as good. No, no. What we know today about getting more ripped, we are more advanced about getting that onion skin and getting shredded. But back in the days, that was done naturally. Now... These guys are blocking many different kind of gland. Uh, you know, it is it's it's tr- truly sad mm. if you are very sharp about your nutrition and understand how to maneuver and do things. You wouldn't need to do these crazy crazy stuff like a blocking adrenal. I'm doing this and that to get super dry. You could do that naturally. If you are smart and you understand nutrition, I'm not saying, oh, don't take this and that. I'm ta- I'm saying be rational. There are things you should not be used, period. There are things should not be used. From my it's only my opinion. I'm entitled to my own opinion. Yeah, I think people now they're lazy as well. No, they think they are lazy. They, they want results quick and they're willing to rather than do like hours and hours of cardio and go really low carbs, they just want to take inject something and Take pills, etc. Wow. Wow. Wow.